Hello, my name is Benoit Brumaire and I am pursuing a PhD with Professor Christophe de Flechauer at UC Louvain and into Pix. I am here to present our paper, End-to-End -end Optimized Image Compression with Competition of Prior Distributions. The main goal of this research is to simplify the computational load of current learned compression frameworks without sacrificing performance. I will start with a short recap of image compression, which applies to both standard and learned codecs. The first step of image compression consists of transforming the original image into a less redundant representation. For example, using a color transform and a discrete wavelet transform in traditional codecs, or a trained autoencoder in learned compression schemes. The transformed image is quantized to a finite set of integers which can be more easily compressed. Finally, an entropy coder encodes the quantized data by using known statistics about the data distribution to encode the most common symbols using fewer bits. This means more accurate prior distributions and higher probabilities result in a smaller code. The same methods are used in standards and learned compression, the main difference being how the statistics are acquired. The graph on the bottom of this slide shows the factorized entropy model, which has been evaluated into a CDF table where each line represents the cumulative distribution function of a latent channel. The basis of most current learned compression schemes is end-to-end -end optimized image compression by Jarnes, Bailey and Hall, which is illustrated in this slide. The convolutional autoencoder encodes and decodes the image. The latent representation at the bottleneck is quantized and passed to the cumulative probability model, which is used to estimate the bitrate and to optimize the CDFs accordingly. The whole network is optimized in an end-to-end -end fashion. At the end of training, the cumulative probability model is evaluated for every possible symbol to form a static CDF table, which defines a CDF for every latent channel. This works well, but using the same cumulative distribution function for all image batches limits both the output of the encoder and the accuracy of the probability model. Our proposed approach is to train many cumulative probability models as a competition of prior distributions. After encoding the image, the model which minimizes bitrate is chosen for each latent spatial dimension. It is optimized further on the patches it won during training, and its index is saved with the bitstream during inference. This figure shows the resulting CDF tables of a model trained with 64 prior distributions. Each box represents a CDF table, and the lines are its 256 cumulative distribution functions, one per channel. Each CDF table specializes in a subset of features, and they can take whatever form best represents the data they specialize on. This method is advantageous compared to the hyper-prior scheme used in most recent works, because the prior distributions are static once training is over, and a CDF table covers all channels in a spatial dimension of the latent code. In contrast, distributions parameterized by a hyper-prior subnetwork result in a different CDF for every symbol to be encoded in both the latent channel and the spatial dimensions. The generated parameters have to be quantized, and the constant memory access can result in significant runtime increases depending on the hardware architecture. The performance of a 64 priors model is roughly the same as that of a hyper prior model. The figure on the right zooms in on different number of prior distributions, with one CDF table being the equivalent of end-to-end -end optimized image compression presented on slide 5. We observe that using a few different distributions quickly improves the rate distortion, and adding more priors quickly yields diminishing returns. 64 prior distributions are enough to reach the rate distortion curve of a hyper prior network, and 128 priors slightly exceeds the performance level. The time needed to look up CDF tables for the entropy decoder is reduced by 86% with 64 priors over the hyper prior. To put this gain in context, we measured the total decoding CPU time to be reduced by 32%. Finally, this slide shows some visual comparison. On the left is an image encoded around 0.2 BPP. The image is not very informative because the differences between hyper prior and 64 priors are hardly perceptible by the human eye, and it's all very subjective. On the right image, we can see different image segmentation where each color is the index of the prior distribution used to encode a 16 by 16 pixel patch. We can easily identify some specialized networks, like the one that encodes vertical or horizontal edges, and the one that specializes in mostly uniform patches. I would like to thank the Wallon region for financing my research, and Larry the Cat for being such a great model.